Hello everybody, this is Paul from Off Grid Desert Farming with Paul and Adrian. We have some breaking news for you guys on this March the 27th, 2024. It looks like a Russian Iskander missile destroyed an underground command center in uh, Chavez Yar and a Polish general was killed, a very, very important Polish general. And we're going to read you this story now. Uh, you know, we've been talking about this for a long time, that NATO and NATO uh, officers... Uh, have been active in Ukraine for over two years. And this is just the latest uh, major uh, event that happened. This man right here, uh, he was a brigadier general. So let's go ahead and read this. Uh, Russian Iskander ballistic missile struck a major command center in Chavez Yar, killing dozens of Ukrainian officers, including Russian sources, say a Polish general. The Russians say that the general was... Adam Marsik, who, according to Polish media, died suddenly of natural causes while off duty, said the announcement of his death was, death was made by the Polish general staff. Marsik was a high, uh, was very high in the hierarchy of the Polish army, the Ukrainian headquarters where the Polish general was allegedly killed. Uh, was underground and consisted of six different levels. So that's at least um, 60 feet underground. After uh, the complete clearing of Ivan Ivansty and these other uh, names I cannot pronounce, the Ukrainians seem to be abandoning their defensive positions uh, in the front of Shavash Yar after the missile strike. They do not appear capable of putting up any significant resistance to keep the city under their control. The fall of Shavash Yar may prove to be a catalyst for the Ukrainians and the continuation of the war effort in Donbass because this particular city is a connecting link between the fortress cities of Kramatorsk, Slavyansk, and Konstantinovkov. Uh, it said the Russians have recently stepped up their efforts to track down NATO officers and kill them. Now, for them, they are a primary target. And let's see if they have a picture of the general... Uh, this is the Brigadier General right here. Uh, his name is Adam Marzak. And uh, he was killed, according to the Russians, in a Iskander missile strike just a few days ago. So this is a very, very high-ranking officer. And you can see uh, from these posts, folks, and I will leave all of these articles in the description box, a lot of news outlets are carrying this. Now, the Polish people say he died suddenly of a, a natural causes. Uh, but Russia is saying he was there in Ukraine and uh, he died as a result of these missile strikes. So uh, Russia will hunt down all of these uh, people, folks, and they will eliminate them. Uh, here is another uh, uh, news article stating the same thing, Poland uh, Polish army general killed in Ukraine. Uh, this is his picture. So, folks, a lot of things are happening in the world. Um, we did have an earthquake, uh, 5.7, off the coast of Oregon. I hope you watched that video. There is a lot of uh, an, a lot of other information uh, going on. Let me see if I can find this. But um, we will be doing a longer breaking news uh, a little bit later. Uh, today, maybe tomorrow, uh, we have a lot of breaking news to get to you guys. So I just wanted to bring you this uh, extraordinary uh, news uh, this morning that a brigadier general has been killed in Ukraine, according to the Russians, in an underground bunker in Shavash Yar. He was there directing uh, some of the battle. So uh, there's a lot of information coming on about the French uh, getting ready to send in at least a battalion into Ukraine, trying to get up a... Uh, a NATO force, a uh, quasi-NATO force to send into southern Ukraine uh, to set up a buffer for the Russians. Uh, we'll be covering all that information uh, hopefully later on today. God bless you. Remember, Jesus Christ loves you. He's coming back soon. Don't be caught dead without him. Bye-bye.